with the addition of four new players and the release of five more. Manchester City has been among the busiest Premier League teams so far in the summer window. However, like you and many football fans, we believe those players that have left have strengthened some of City's main Premier League rivals. Pep Guardiola has spoken out against Manchester City's summer sales of Raheem Sterling, Gabriel Jesus, and Ulk Sanders Zinchenko, with the addition of four new players and the release of five more. City has been among the busiest Premier League teams so far in the summer window, replacing those mentioned with Julian Alvarez, Calvin Phillips, Stefan Ortega and of course Erling Haaland. While there is some danger in letting the three important outfield players go, Guardiola remained upbeat when asked about the club's recent transactions. He also discussed how this summer at the club has been different from previous since he joined from Bayern Munich in 2016. So far I am so excited and so happy. He said, sometimes the market was strange for us. Normally we are a team that buys and doesn't sell much. This summer for different reasons. We sell some players. Sometimes you want to do it but you can't. This summer it happened so quick. Not just first team players but also academy and loan players. Guardiola reiterated his steadfast stance that disgruntled players will be permitted to leave, while simultaneously implying that he would have been pleased for Sterling, Hazus and Zinchenko to stay. The three players have been crucial to City's success over the last six seasons and helped them win the Premier League last year. I was incredibly happy with Gabriel, Olix and Raheem. Guardiola continued, if they stayed longer there would be no problem. They proved last year how good they are, but sometimes the players want more. And the club feel it is the right moment to do it. But the most important thing is they leave happy with the club and what they have done. Normally when you talk about transfers in Spain, Germany and England it is 10% more on the price. It happens and we know it. It happens because they are really good. They are the best ages and their best years are maybe coming now. That's why they have a value in the market. Chelsea and Arsenal have paid the money that is fair. And the discussions were perfect, Tiziki told me. The business is good for both sides and really friendly. When asked about the main reasons behind his departure this summer, Sterling said, Misunderstandings, contracts running down. It was a shame to see how it ended in the end because I had such a great time there. A lot of things came into play. A lot of reasons, but I wasn't complaining. I was ready to challenge and, as you can see, even with some of the performances I put in, you couldn't guarantee yourself a place so it just didn't make sense to fight a battle you can never win. Sterling was then probed on whether he felt as if he had given his all at City and that the time had come for him to leave. He replied, yes, it was literally that. As a player you always want to do your best and help your team, but when you don't think things are going fairly, it's always a disappointment. If you are not happy playing your football you've got to look at other options to get that happiness back. And that's exactly what I have done. It was the right time for me to move on. I wouldn't stay part of something I knew I couldn't give my all in. City is a fantastic club. It's a club that wins lots of trophies. It's a club that has helped my development massively in the past couple of years. But there comes a time when you've got to think about yourself, what's best for you, and what you want for the future. That's the sole reason why I am here at Chelsea. For the latest stories and trends, subscribe to the definitive football channel that is Synergy Football. We look forward to welcoming you into our growing community.